I'm Todd Grisham, and there's nothing quite like a CompuBox Academy crowd, and they are vocal here tonight. Alongside me is Johnny Nelson. Hi, Todd. Hi to everybody back home. It's time for our tale of the tape. Larry Holmes, six foot three inches tall, weighed in at 226 pounds and has an 81 inch reach. He'll face this man. He is Smokin' Joe Frazier. He took part in the greatest boxing trilogy of all time with Muhammad Ali. He defines the words Philly fighter. Yeah, if you've got a brawl that's in front of you, that's going to put you under pressure. Get to your ribs and get close. You've got to be fast on your feet. If you've got the height and the reach, which I always go for, I, I depend on that. But if someone is going to push you back, keep pushing you down, you're going to be under pressure. Don't get stuck in the corner. Because if you do, you're out of there. This bat. Not. You can't imagine how bad these fighters want to get their hands on each other. Someone tell these two that they can be defensive for a minute if they want to. The winner of this surely will get a world title shot. Let's punch scores. You're not going to see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. You got to swarm on your case. You know you got to fight. You got to hold him. You got to tie him up. You got to lean on him when you come in until the referee makes you break off. But keep your hands high because they will keep punching until the referee said stop. Nice job landing that left counter punch. That punch lands. They both want the knockout. You're not going to see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. You find the swarmer, you've got to protect everything. The body with the elbows, the head with the forearm. You've got to try and push them off balance because they will just stay in your face. Nice counter. Huh. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Let's talk about Larry Holmes. They've got the momentum, they've got the advantage. How do they carry that into the next round? I seriously hope the judges kept that. Here we go, round two. Who's going to land the first big shot? Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. So much for boxing, this is a fight. Through the hook, didn't land. Beautiful counter shot. As it is in most heavyweight fights, don't blink because one big shot and this thing could be over. Because that's so big, because they can push, because they've got the weight behind them, they may not be connecting, but trust me, when they connect, that's when this fight sets on fire because someone's gonna get hurt and someone's gonna react. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Both men step back for just a moment. Hard, we see much, much more, much, much better. We've been spoiled. I, I, I'm being unfair. I'm not being unfair since let boring. It's not boring. We've probably just been spoiled. Good counter punching from both these fighters. <laughs> Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. Nice counter shot. Might want to back out of the pocket here. Look how slow these punches are. Now 
That punch landed. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Let's talk about Larry Holmes. I promise you, all three judges here are going to give that round to you know who. Here we go in round three. Who's going to land the first big shot? Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. In the early rounds of a fight, you'll see two boxers feel each other out, test each other's power, and I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. Work the body, frustrate them, take the mind off the chin, take the mind off protecting everything around that. Work the body, use tactics sometimes to actually outbox a fight and beat them on points. Coming back to life now, starting to land some punches. doesn't always pay to be first. It pays to be last. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. A very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one's there to do anything out of turn. There's a scoring blow. There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. It's the one who draws first blood top. That's what you've got to look at. If you pair and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. Nice shot with the... You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Talk about Larry Holmes. Pretty dominant round there. Let's see how they respond here in the next round. Dominance, without a doubt, made it look so, so easy. There's the bell to start round four. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Beautiful counter punch. realizes that defense is one of the scoring criteria in boxing. He misses with that jab. We've seen in the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you can't think of them. You've just got to be smarter than them. You've got to be like a little fager to pickpocket them. Solid punch. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Fails to score with that left hook. This is certainly an aggressive fighter, but that doesn't always mean success. How many times have you seen a fighter chase a superior athlete around the ring and just get picked apart even though they were the one pushing the tempo? Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want because they want to get you there. They want you to stand there toe-to-toe -to -toe with them and have a tail. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you've got to this round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Let's talk about Larry Holmes. Well, we know they've got the advantage so far, but how does this match get turned? Time for the fifth round. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one.
They score with that left hand. They are giving us a high tempo show. Caution being thrown to the wind. When we talk about a fighter having power, don't just look at the head punches they throw. Look at the body shots. That can be the real difference. I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the confidence comes from. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Totally impressed. You know what? You got skill. You got... Oh, my goodness. I admire these guys. He got out of the way of that right hook. Which one of these athletes is going to be the first to get rocked? They better start respecting each other's punching powers. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. And time. Let's talk about Larry Holmes. Well, there was no doubt about who won that round. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. And then you can't miss him. Great work. Stay focused. Don't let him back in. Here we go in the sixth round. Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. You've heard the phrase, finding a second win. I don't think I need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find it. Now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about what. seen all the famous boxing movies, the training scenes, the gym work. That's what it all boils down to. Who's going to have more endurance? I don't think it's going to be a boxing match. This is going to be a fight. This fighter has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed as they continue to walk through all these power shots. Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those pointed areas over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. You've just got to try and cut them skin and go for speed. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Just like a match made in heaven. And a right. Hey, those punches add up. That hook was thrown with some bad intentions. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Talk about Larry Holmes. That was almost a 10-8 round. Complete dominance. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as a fighter. And the corner's got to put a firecracker on the fighter. Get out there. Get the job done. Now, for Every time you see him, take a big, deep breath. Bang fight. It's so important now in this first minute of this next round to get on top of him.
The referee calling for seconds out as we get set to jump back in the action. Bye. Round seven, here we go. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. One of the best attributes to have in boxing has nothing to do with boxing. It's how well you can take a punch to the face. The problem with having a chin that everybody knows if they hit you, you're hurt, you're gone. You've got to protect that, but you've also got to get your shots off. And they forget, you can bang too. This fighter has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed as they continue to walk through all these power shots. I don't think it's going to be a boxing match. This is going to be a fight. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. We both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? Todd, we know one of these fights can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab. It can be intimidating. Just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. It's obvious this fighter is gassed out. Why sit in there and throw punches? Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Let's talk about Larry Holmes. Talk about a one-sided three minutes. We just saw it. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. I look at that There's the bell to start round eight. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. That hook was off target. We've seen in the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. You've got to be courageous when you get in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain then. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? Nice counter shot. So much for boxing. This is a fight. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them. More than happy. Can you imagine if he knocks out Joe Frazier? Disaster averted. This is some of the best action I've seen in any round, anywhere this year. They are not stumbling around on Bambi legs. This round still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. There's a counter. Let's talk about Larry Holmes. As bad as boxing judging can be sometimes, there's no doubt who won that round. Dominance, without a doubt, made it look so, so easy. He's gone. I'm telling you, he's gone. Jump up. Let's see how much fatigue we see here in round nine. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one.
One of the best attributes to have in boxing has nothing to do with boxing. It's how well you can take a punch to the face. I've seen some fighters with a granite chin. You can hit them with a sledgehammer, they are not going to move. But then I've seen some mad punchers with a chin like a crisp. As soon as you touch them, they're gone. And this is the danger spot. He just misses with that big right hand. And he misses with that jab. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Nobody home with that hook. The old adage is, no matter how much speed you've got, timing beats speed. Some fighters are just gifted. Gifted with such hand speed, footwork, movement. They are gifted. They are the chosen few. Right punch. And he just missed with that left jab. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Nice job landing with that right hand counter. Let's talk about Larry Holmes. Well, it's no secret who has the advantage after that. And there's the bell to start round 10. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Which one of these athletes is going to say I can't take it anymore? How nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this that can seriously hurt you? That power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. <laughs> Missed him with that uppercut. Fighter sort of the death by a thousand paper cuts approach. They'll hit you a thousand times before you can land one. This can be so frustrating when you're in such a fast fighter. Fast fighter that can throw three full shot combinations before you've even let one off. That creates frustration, and that's when it gets hard. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. No rest for the weary. What a world championship fight we're seeing, ladies and gentlemen. Someone tell these two that they can be defensive for a minute if they want to. You can see he does not. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Talk about Larry Holmes. After what we saw. And there's the bell for round 11. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. We both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? Which one of these athletes is going to say I can't take it anymore? It doesn't always pay to be first. It pays to be last. We hear that old phrase, second win. You've got to find it somehow. Now you've got two There's no... And they're down. Would be wise here to take the full eight seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Six. 
So they'll make it up, and this fight continues. To show somebody can smell blood. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, let's do it. Look at what they're going to do. Walk them down. Set them up. Don't make them blind them with a jab. Then boom, let's show in. Apparently, it's going to take more than that to keep this fighter down. Counter left hand there. He just misses with that jab. It looks like he's going to survive the round here, but just barely. Yeah! Frazier covering up. He's got nowhere. Let's talk about Larry Holmes. Let's see how the game plan changes after that big knockdown. Look. And there's the bell to start round 12. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not going to happen. He's got a hustle, mate. And he will hold here, and good thing he did because he was getting beaten up. Sometimes style makes fight, but this one, the styles just seem to be clashing. Stamina is so important for these two fighters because it allows them to use their skills throughout the match. It could all come. So much bruising. Will the referee stop this fight? Are you okay? And the referee is going to allow him to fight. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. This fight has a real good flow to it. <laughs> Trying to answer back. Good counter punching for both these athletes. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? You've got to be courageous when you're getting in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain mass. Nice counter punch. We wanted action, and they are giving us action. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. might have thought the fight a little bit closer, but the judges are in agreement. A unanimous decision win. They've done it before, now they're doing it again, and look what's happened. A unanimous decision. What a way, what tactics, what a game plan, what a result.